Hello, I'm Etienne Plays, and today I'm showing you of when I went to the Vale of Rydal Railway. So here we are, footage in Aberystwyth Station. They're currently doing a lot of work to it because before that it didn't look so good. Well, let's get straight into the journey. And as you can see, I'm in the first class carriage, which was luxury. And we're off. And if you're wondering why it says Southern Railway Offices, it's something to do with the owners, I think. And as you can see, they are doing a lot of work. This journey goes from Aberystwyth to Devil's Bridge and it's over two hours but thank god this video isn't two hours it's probably about 11 minutes the original sound for this. as you can see we're going through oh what's the station Sambadan, i think yes where there's a level crossing and as you can see people there and here's a lovely bit of footage i took from the back of the carriage from the observation window another level crossing there it's a heritage railway from 1904 as you can see by the wooden sleepers i know it's not been well recently recreated it was always there from 1904 it's really lovely as you can see the landscape is beautiful it's absolutely stunning and then we're going into yep. Kapilbanga station I should know that since I've been through it many times I actually went through here on Saturday oh and I think that's the river Ostwith or the river Rydal I think I don't know I'm not good with my legs and rivers <laughs> As you can see, a lot of trees, a lot of everything there. It's just really welcoming with nature and all that. It's um, a great place. I'm trying to get to 50 subscribers at the moment and I'm only five subscribers away. So if you want you can subscribe but if not that's totally fine but if you do it would really help then we are going to through Nantroinwen and as you can see the locomotive puffing out steam see it there yep um I forget which station we're in there but it's I don't know I do not know I had to poke my well, not, I say camera, but it's actually just a phone. Oh, and look at that, you can see, it's actually built along a mount, oh, well, a hill range. Yeah, Cambrian Mountains, I think. Yeah, it's just really amazing. I, ha I say camera, it's a phone now, I poked it out the window. And just look at that view. And up there, I think, that was some sort of mine well still is probably as you can see it's a lot of twists and turns on this railway now the reason why i'm not showing you the full thing is because i think you should go on there yourself it's just such a lovely place and yeah I especially recommend you go on this railway too. It's really lovely and I just really do recommend. Oh, and here we are, we're going into Devil's Bridge. It's an amazing place. Ah, oh, look, here we are. And we're here. Look at that. 
and then as you can see the locomotive is a number seven although i don't know what class this locomotive is it's a very beautiful locomotive that was filmed on a lemon that 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 shot there was filmed on a lemon it's true But look at all those pistons and rods and driving rods. Look at them. If you don't know, I actually have quite a fascination with locomotives. If you don't know what a locomotive is, some of you call it train. But the train is actually the carriages that the locomotive pulls. That is the locomotive there. And as you can see, it reverses down the track and couples up to the back of the train in this instance being the first class carriage it's these these locomotives are absolutely beautiful i i love them they just they're just really nice something that i've never noticed before and only ever noticed on saturday is that the the what are they called well, I'll say that later. But as you can see, the locomotive is coming to couple up to the back of the train. And yes, these are from 1904. Honestly, it's such a great experience. And there you can see it's coming. And here we are. Couples up. Boom, there we go. And the fireman does the thing and connects the air brakes and then connects the couplings. Ah, the pistons, yes. The pistons are really, they, they, I've, I've noticed that they only now they, they really bulge out now i'm recording this on i do speak welsh and i can only remember this the welsh word sometimes ddi i think ddi yeah it's spelled i a u yeah well <laughs> Anyways, instead of giving you a Welsh lesson, I'm going to be just showing you the journey, but on the way back. This video is almost done, and I've been sat here for almost 10 minutes. As you can see, that sign says, stop end of section. And by that, it means the shunting section, where a locomotive pushes a train. And as you can see where it's just like a landscape that's carved out and have you noticed that it's just really beautiful and then we go through Aberfrood with that lovely water tower just look at the views honestly the Cambrian mountains are beautiful they're absolutely beautiful and look at the amount of steam and smoke the locomotive plumes out. <laughs> it literally, at one point, it engulfed the window. Like, the entire window. It was literally like a flame. Fun fact. Steam locomotives are like a bomb on wheels. The locomotive did whistle then, but you probably can't hear it. And then there's the level crossing again read that sign if you would like pause it somewhere around here and zoom in now this was pretty late at the time i was quite tired and yeah it's just a really lovely place but something i noticed you probably didn't hear it but well because you've got my voice over on this but you probably didn't hear it there was Whenever the driving rods turned over, there was this kind of clicking sound. Well, 
We're back in the station now. As you can see, the engine shed there. It's just really lovely, I have to say. It's a really lovely place. And so is Wales, my home country. Well, and by that time it had been around two hours and I was really tired and just wanted to get home. And here we are pulling into Aberystwyth platform. Now, you might think that's the main platform though. This is the Heritage Railway platform. That's very really bridal. It's just a really lovely place. And you know what? I recommend you come down to Wales and buy a ticket on the Vale of Rydal Railway. That's all folks.